are live. <laughs> back. This is live and we're back. We are back. Shit, Deval, it's been like what? It's been about three weeks, isn't it? Or four weeks? It's been, I think it feels like it's been like, a yeah, about three weeks, I think. You're yeah. right. About three weeks. Exactly. Yeah. But listen. Yeah. Everyone needs a break. Everyone needs a break. You can't just go all the time. You need to you know, family time, rest, recuperation, me t- chill me out time. time. You know, there's, there's, the, exactly. there's you me time. time, you there's time, you time, me time, they the, time. The me time. The me too, you too. The, all these movements, man. We need our own me, to, me time <laughs> movements. Um, so listen, oh look, gosh. folks, we're back. Uh, the Flicksters are back. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, whilst we've been away, we've... We've been watching stuff and we've kind of been, tr- you know, trying to catch up with with all the stuff that's been going on. So we're going to go through some of that, uh, you know, some of those programs that uh, that have been out and stuff. Uh, we're going to bring some film reviews as well. But um, yeah, man. So yep. uh, everything good? Everything's good. I went uh, Jamaica. Yep. Oh, Jamaica man. was a wicked, wicked holiday. Saw the Can't videos. They look wicked. Enough good things about it. Honestly, it's just that's where uh, that. To, put it into a film context that's where james bond was originally written yes. wasn't it so you know yes it does have actually you know, some historical that's things a there. point what kind of like uh other movie like jamaica like set movies have there been wasn't there the uh there's blue lagoon i think there's a blue lagoon in jamaica i know there's a there's a lagoon there where when you go into mm. it the, the the way the the water there's like a chemical not chemical but there's something in the water that reacts to light and you come out like with like avatar kind of <laughs> blue kind of yeah <laughs> or like blue bits on you it's like it's some i can't it's a, a bioluminescence yeah. that's it it's something with the the way the i don't know something in the water oh uh, by the way that yeah, reminds me is. i see you mm. ah i see you too <laughs> Yeah, and we'll talk about Avatar exactly. in a second. Actually, so, you, but you know, know what? It all fits. Emmanuel, he he was like, "What?" He goes, "When we when we started doing the ICU thing, Emmanuel, it didn't go too well with Emmanuel." By the way, oh, Emmanuel, I see you yeah. as well. We'll get him on the show in twenty twenty three. Looking behind, man. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> You're right. There, we'll speak about the whole Avatar thing. But before we do any of all that mm. stuff, let's do the shout outs. Yeah. So we've got uh, three shout outs this week. And just, yeah, actually, do you know what? We should say Happy oh, New Year, man. isn't it? Happy, Happy New Year. Year. <laughs> Happy New 2023. And it actually is episode, is it episode 223 yes. today? I think it is, isn't it? 223. Yeah, so. Absolute. So. Yeah, I think so. That didn't rhyme. One of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two, I can't two, even three. speak. Leave the rhyme in to me. Yeah? I haven't done this in three weeks and look what happens. But yeah, go on. <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, so first shout out goes to Miss... Alice.o mm. on Instagram, giving us a big shout out. Happy New Year to you, Miss Alice.o. And we just mentioned Emmanuel. So go check out Emmanuel's uh, Instagram, and that's Emmanuel P underscore L D N. I'm guessing that's mm. London. So go check him out. You'll see him on our yeah. show uh, very soon. He comes back as always. We cannot get rid of him. <laughs> We've been trying, but he, go, he goes nowhere. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, next shout out goes out to Vegas Cheers. Uh, so big shout out to her. She was picking us up on yeah. Instagram. She loves the Wicked. show. She's always listening to see what we're going to be, you know, reviewing next. And uh, yeah, big shout out goes out to you, Vegas. Huge. Uh, so yeah, so this year we've got some big things planned this year. More movies and stuff. And you know, this is going to be a good year for movies. Oh so man, keep it yeah, plugged. keep it locked with the fixes. We're going to be speaking about movies yeah. and TV shows all coming your way. All right, let's get into it, Devout. And listen, look, you've already mentioned kind of Avatar. Now, no joke, Devout, I just wasn't expecting this. I did not think that Avatar, Way mm. of the Water, was going to do so well. But just give us the numbers. Let us know about this because this is this is breaking records. Yeah, so Avatar, do you know what? I, I'm, I'm surprised, mm. actually. I'm surprised because Avatar's only been out since the 16th of... December, wasn't it? Uh, December. Yeah, 16th of December. And it has done really, really well. I mean, the first Avatar came out in 2009, done crazy. But just to give you a bit of the numbers, so the top movie still, guess what it is? Uh, Avatar. The original Dan Gargan. Yes, Avatar. <laughs> the original. <laughs> the original. The, bit, the, bit of the Jamaican <laughs> Trinity, sorry. The, <laughs> the Avatar is still number one, $2.9 billion. Crazy. Yeah. 2009 number two we've got avengers endgame avengers endgame almost yes hit of avatar but they re-released it but cheeky re-released yeah. it got some more money so two point i call it 2.8 because it's 2.79 but let's call it 2.8 billion uh titanic is third you know titanic 
let's call it 2.2 billion, 2.19 it is. So Titanic is still third, and then Avatar, Way of the Water, is 2 billion. Think about it this way, yeah? If you're Mr. James Cameron and someone says to you anything about your films, you can <laughs> say to them that two, hold on, no, three, three of the top, three of the top four films of all time, top grossing films of all time are his. That's crazy. That's mad. I mean, think about it. Think about that for a second. So, yeah, so Avatar, <laughs> it's not finished it. It may even pick number three. Mm. <clears throat> It may even pip number three, so there's still time for it to do yeah. that. So you never know. You know, they'll probably re-release it again before the before the exactly. other one and make yeah. more money. And you know, here's the thing. The thing for me was like, okay, look, if this movie does well, he turned around. He had to say this movie has to do over two billion for them to kind of get yeah. kind of anything break even or whatever, and then for them to do the third one. So it looks like we are mm. definitely going to get a part three. But um, yeah. Man, what a like exactly like what you just said. Three out of the four top grossing movies. That's mad. The James Cameron. This guy knows how That's to mad. make money. <laughs> Give him the blank check, he'll do the rest. And here's the thing, Deval. Disney are laughing. Mm. Yeah, all the way to the bank. They're printing money. This is printing this, for it. them, it doesn't matter who gets first, second, because it's it's their movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty, pretty amazing. So yeah, uh, we'll see how this all pans out over the next couple of weeks and everything. So it's probably going to add a, a few more zeros to that, but listen, let's do, uh, the other big news happening. March is just around the corner. We're going to be seeing, uh, the Oscars and, uh, I don't think it's going to be as controversial as last year's with the whole Will Smith thing. Uh, I don't think any, any of that sort of stuff's going to happen, <laughs> but listen, Deval, uh, tell us about these Oscar nominations because there's some interesting ones in there. Yeah, there are. There are. Some of them I've seen, some mm. of them I haven't seen. I'll just sort of reel through just a little bit uh, for everyone. So best picture, we've got Top Gun Maverick. Saw that yeah. twice. Heavy film. And for it to be nominated, and it's done it's done like 1.5 billion. Great. Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, we talked we about that, that film so much last year. Heavy film. Uh, and also, uh, Michelle Yao's been nom- nominated for best actress yeah. as well. So the banshees of inertion mm. so an irish film there this. with uh i saw do you know what funny enough i saw this i saw this about five months before it was Damn, released and i've seen it early yeah and i couldn't talk about it because we had the to sign NDA, an nda yeah. so i couldn't talk about it but now okay. i can it's a good right. film it's a crazy yeah. film comedy dry humor it's the things that happen in this film <laughs> mad colin farrell and what's his brendan. name brendan Brendan Gleeson, yeah. yeah, it's a mad film, good okay. film. Triangle of Sadness, yep. you, we spoke about that as well. That a lot. <clears throat> Heavy film. People are sleeping on mm. this film, you know. People are sleeping on it. People don't understand how good it is because they don't really see the glitz and glamour, the the, the explosions. This is a film you Deep. need to see. Yeah. Uh, all quite on the Western Front. We yeah. spoke about Netflix. that. We spoke about that on Netflix. And you know what? It's a heavy, heavy. It's a good win. Uh, it's a good film. win for Netflix having an Oscar-nominated mm. movie. Exactly. Good film. Avatar, Ray of the Water, also nominated. Elvis, yeah, I saw you that. saw that. I, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You said it's really good. Other people said it's really good as well. Tar. Tar, I've that's heard with about uh, this. Kate, Kate Blanchett. She's mm. been nominated, right? Mm. And a lot of people yes, are saying that yeah. she might take home uh, the Oscar uh, for her performance mm. in that movie. So, yeah, man. So, quite a few. And then what about any kind of su- other surprising ones, like in terms of the actors? Well, Brendan uh, Fraser mm. for The Whale. You know, I mean, he started off his career being one of those sort of, you know, hot studs, mm. you know, coming through, you know, the mummy. George of the Jungle. Uh, George of the Jungle. What was that film we done with uh, Elizabeth? What's her name? Where she was oh, a devil. Oh, 10. Was uh, it 10 or something? No, nah, it was something where she was and a then, devil and she had to like yeah. tea tease him and so I can't remember what it's called but it's good comedy but yeah he is a bit of a stud back in the day in the well he is not a stud but it seems like a very very touching yeah. film I need to see it myself so that may be a bit of a surprise one Bill Nighy for living mm. some people are saying he could really snap that up it's about time for him people are saying so a couple of little surprises there uh, but apart from that I mean there's those are the sort of the main nominations. We could go and you know on and on about other stuff. I mean, and and Andrea uh, Rice. I've been work. hearing about her. People are saying yeah, for... uh, actors came out in support, and then she she you know her her hat was uh, her name was put in the hat and everything. Mm. So yeah, mm. Straight, yeah, yeah. 
Ana de Armas for Blonde. I still ain't I seen it. It's I a need Netflix to see movie. it. I think we need. I think we need to commit to seeing a few of these. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Oscar nominated films before the Oscars. <laughs> just just so we know what exactly. We're about. I know. I know. Blonde. Hundred. <laughs> a few I haven't yeah. seen. So I'm. I'm guilty. But yeah. So that's what I'll sort of mention for now. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. But you know, if you want to see more, maybe we'll do a post and we'll put this all out so you can see it. But yeah, this is interesting. Interesting nominations. Yeah. All right, folks, keep it locked with the flicks and we'll bring you more on that. Uh, but now let's move on to this. I had to put this in there. I read this maybe kind of like a week ago. Maybe you've heard about this one. Mm. But listen, look, Adam Driver. He, you already mentioned there's an Adam, uh, there was a trailer for an Adam Driver movie that's going to be coming out. It's called 65. Mm. It kind of looks great, yeah. action-packed, kind of, you know, um, 10 million, what was it? Uh, 10,000 year. 65 million. Yeah. I think it's called 65. I think yeah, it's, it's called 65, like 65 million years yeah. BC or whatever. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, kind of possibly remake and all that sort of stuff. Got he- loads of kind of uh, Jurassic Park vibes to it as well. Um, yeah. yeah. But apparently, Deval, the rumor is that he's the front runner to be playing RR in the MCU. Who's RR? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh, Richard Weiss. Yes. Oh, serious. Yes. Ah, now, you reckon, yeah? Listen, look. I mean, Marvel. They could. They they could ah. do a whole 360 and be like, you know, they could, could pull someone in like that. I mean, mm. but here's the thing. I don't. Um, well, obviously, he's got the height for it. Skinny, tall. He's like a tall person. Mm. He's got the acting chops for it. But I mean, I don't. I would yeah, like. Yeah, I just. Don't, I didn't know. Nothing about me. Nothing. Nothing against him. He's mm. good. But I, I just, I, I, I struggle to see yeah. it. I don't know. Something about it doesn't really. Maybe. But you never know. Like you saw him in a comedy. You saw him in a comedy movie. Wasn't there a zombie movie that you saw him in? Zombie one. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Now, maybe but... he's got that light. Mm. I don't know the light comedy touch because obviously he's fantastic. Four isn't. It's, it's yeah. gonna be. Co- it's gonna be comedic as well. And you maybe have to have a bit Probably. of a, a kind of a lighter. I don't want to see him with his shirt off, man, because he's going to look like Kylo Ren with that, you know, the, the high waist. With nine coming with the high waist, because he's going to stretch in it, and that high waist is going to get long. His high waist is going to be up here, man, stretching. Can you imagine? Oh I don't want to see it. I just I don't, don't see, see it. it. I just don't see Adam Driver as a Reed Richards. So it's just like, I don't know. But nah, um, yeah, but who that. knows? I mean, you know what? There's, there's still a lot of time left yet. Well, actually, I don't know. They, they, they should be, they should make an announcement pretty soon, but we'll see if mm. he is going to be Reed Richards. It'd be interesting to see who they cast as the Fantastic Four. Uh, the other piece of news that I want to speak about is this, the Nielsen's chart deval. Now, Nielsen is, mm. th- th- and this has been going on like, you know, since forever, basically Nielsen is the company that does the, the ratings for right? how many people, what's the, what's the most watched show and everything. And, and before, remember, it was kind of the big, uh, it was just like TV. They, they were, I don't know where they got the data from, but they would track, you know, how many viewers, mm. uh, you know, so-and-so had, which show had, but now they do the whole kind of streaming platform as well. And check this out, Devaldo. This is incredible. Out of the 15 top rated shows on streaming, Netflix has 14 of them. Is it? 14 out of 15. Whoa. And it's incredible, man. So the basically the most watched um the most watched show, Deval, have a guess what it was. Mm. And we're talking about minutes. So this is kind of like that they, they add minutes. in the, uh, uh, I don't know how they calculate it, but it's the minutes that the show has uh, been watched. What do you reckon? Not uh, Squid Game, was no. it? No, it wasn't. No. It, it wasn't Squid Game. Uh, not not the uh, the Sherlock Holmes girl. What's her name? Enola Holmes. Enola Holmes. It no. wasn't Enola Holmes. Yeah. Okay. No, but nah, you're close though. You're then. close. Oh. Oh no! I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. you're right. It's a, sh- it's a show. You're, you're right about it. Oh, I'm you're, right. You're right about Enola. Uh, you're right about the actress. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's, it's Stranger yes. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically, things, yeah. so it's, apparently it was viewed a whopping fifty-two billion. So fi- there's it had a fifty-two billion minutes being watched across the whole Is it? the whole universe. Then it was when uh, Ozark, mm. and then it was Wednesday. Mm-mm. Oh, Wednesday. And then you had Cobra okay. Kai, you had Dharma, The Crown, Bridgerton. Mm. And then the only non-Netflix oh, yeah. shows to make it were The Boys and The Rings of Power. Mm. 
Rings of Power. I still even finished that. Mate, <laughs> I still even finished, finished it as well. So, um, the boys is good. Yeah, that needs to be up there. Yeah, yeah. So clearly, obviously, huge wins for Netflix. They they clearly mm. kind of like you know the top of the pile when it comes to the, you know the most popular. Um, mm. Some of them are hit. Some of them are hit. Some of them are misses. I mean, I'm I'm still looking forward to kind of some upcoming shows. You, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, mm. that, that's kind of coming out. But um, yeah, man, would you? I mean, would you think like fourteen out of fifteen shows on net, the best? It's the best shows are that's crazy, crazy isn't it's it? Crazy good. I think it, it will change in time when people have more uh, options and they they you know Disney Plus and you know uh, Amazon mm. uh, people people buy into that a lot more. I think because people have just got Netflix, that's like a standard thing, mm. isn't it? So that's why they're getting all these hours. And there's, there's all good shows, don't get me wrong, but I think that, that might change over, over time. It is, you know? and I think, I, think it will change. I think we can basically speak about some of that might be happening under our noses right mm. now. Um, let's get on to mm. new and streaming, and we want to speak about this. Uh, so this kind of dropped a couple of weeks ago. This is HBO's uh, kind of you know, TV adaptation of an award-winning Sony PlayStation game called The Last of Us. And just kind of, just so you know, I've played the game. I'm a huge fan of the game. Oh, I'm a huge ah. fan. I had it on the PlayStation 4, used to play it all the time. That was the game that I used to play all the time. Ah. And um, ah. atmospheric, great storyline, like well-drawn out characters. The dialogue was absolutely amazing. Mm. Matt, the, I don't even want to know. I don't even, can't even remember how many kind of awards that game has has won. But HBO, uh, Warner Brothers or whatever, they bought the rights to it. They then adapted it. They've adapted it into a TV show. It's airing on HBO Max in America, in England. What is it? Is it Sky Atlantic or something? On Sky. Yeah, yeah Sky yeah, yeah. Atlantic. And yeah. over here in Australia, it's on Binge. So I've been watching it. And uh, yeah, man, um, one thing that I've got to say is, there are they've they've literally they've plucked scenes from the game and they've just put it out on there and you know what mm. it just it's uncanny even like dialogue mm. that they use from the game they've used it in the tv show mm. uh things like mm. i'll just just to give an example things like uh the curtain the curtain just waving in the wind uh, things like birds flying in the background, the shape of yeah. buildings, and um, we'll get to the, the clickers and stuff like that in a minute. But yeah, man, it's only been two episodes, mm. but it, I'm I'm really, really getting into it. Uh, I kind of read the reviews beforehand, and the reviews were that mm. this is amazing, it's absolutely amazing, and you know what? It's getting there for me, and I've heard that episode three apparently is supposed to be very, 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 very good. Mm. I can't wait to watch it. I've, 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 I've really enjoyed yeah. it. I've not played the game. Don't, I don't know. What the, I know what the game's about, but I've never played it. But one thing I did notice in episode two, there's a scene. Not really spoilery, but there's a scene where they go into this like old. I don't know if it's an old hotel or something, and they're sort of looking around and stuff. And Pedro Pascal's character Joe or Joel, Joel. Uh, there's a moment where he's like looking. He's, he's got his. He's got his uh, torch. Mm got his gun like that and the camera goes like first yes. person as if you're playing playstation yeah. and i noticed that as a gamer when you're playing playstation that's what you see and they framed it exactly, exactly like, that. like that to put you into game mode yeah. almost i did appreciate yeah, it, that it was, it was really good. good and there's a bit in there where he kind of you know where, you know where they you, exactly in that bit where he's looking around and he's fumbling around and he's he's trying to move like a door and um, mm. that is from the game. Like, there's so many, oh, there's so many, yeah, there's so many bits in there where it's just like that. But I mean, let's speak about the kind of the whole kind of setup. Um, mm. These are zombies, but they well, no, actually, they're infect. People have been become infected, and it's happened like in yeah. in it starts off in the 1960s where some guy is talking about kind mm. of you know cedro is it quadriceps or cedroceps i can't even remember what it was it was some sort, sort of bacterial, bacterial thing isn't it you said the bacteria fungus. is on a next level if if that bacteria or bacteria is able to 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 survive and breed within humans a certain bacteria mm. then he said that it's over it's like it's something that is it, it can mash it can literally literally kill humanity yeah. And I don't really get it. I don't really, I don't get these mm. things. Obviously, we've just been through the pandemic. So people's sense of, you know, infections is already high. Huge, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's a good time oh, to launch definitely. this. People are, 
Ready and then in the it. second episode, we kind of hear more about it. You know, something happened in 2003. You know, there was kind of outbreak mm. in a, in Jakarta in Indonesia. I really liked that whole yeah. thing, how they started off in Indonesia. Like, you know, it was serious. It was mad. No, no joke. joke. She couldn't even finish her breakfast. Come and take <laughs> her away. Come with us. <laughs> Come with us. She's a prominent doctor. Exactly. And she was shitting herself. She wasn't even like, oh, we've got to try and do this. We've got to try and... She was like, we're exactly. Fucked. It was it was already yeah. game over. That's that's basically no, what she's saying. It's just a game over. And then oh, I love it because it tells me straight away. See how like it reminded me of this. It reminded me of the, of the Thanos and Hulk mm. scene from Avengers Infinity War. In that scene, that's when you know Thanos is not here to be joked <laughs> around with. And in this scene, in The Last of Us, that's when it tells you this bacteria. Yeah. No, messing around. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's over. Yeah, yeah exactly. And those whole the, the clickers, um, the, the the makeup and special effects. I mean, it's on point with the game. I think a lot of the fans mm. of the game they were really eager, or they were kind of like, "Oh shit, are they gonna? How are they gonna kind of show the clickers and you know the, you know the zombies type of thing like that?" And I think they did a really really good job. And there's a scene in there mm. where kind of you know there's a jump scare and. You know, all this sort of stuff. But I think, man, yeah, I think they're on to a winner. HBO Max, man, I think they're on to a winner. Mm. I think they'll have uh, another season. They'll kind of draw it out. And mm. you know what, man? It, it's been renewed already. It's been renewed for season two already. There you go. There you yeah. go. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people will say, will say obviously, they're going to draw on The Walking Dead. There is, there is going to mm. obviously be similarities there. And because obviously they're yeah. dealing with zombies over there and dealing with zombies here. But yeah. th this has got its own beating heart already. And I yeah. think it's already been established in the first two episodes. So we'll wait and see how the third episode pans out. That's dropping for me anyway. It's dropping for me on Monday, tomorrow. Same. Yeah, Monday's here as yeah. well. So we'll see how it goes. HBO, love on Monday, don't they? They love on Monday. <laughs> I, Game of Thrones. I know, yeah, that. exactly. So that's, that is the kind of the thing that we recommend that you should be watching uh, on streaming at the moment or, mm. you know, on TV. Now, the other thing is uh, something on Amazon, which Deval's been watching. So Deval, tell us about this. Yeah, this one's called The Rig. And this one is uh, about uh, workers on an oil rig. Uh, I think they're based somewhere off Scotland because a lot of the people got Scottish accents. So they're there drilling away for oil uh, and they unearth something that is ancient. Mm. When I say ancient, I mean like ancient, <laughs> like millions of years what, old. Like and some sort are... of evil spirit? No, they're like, it's like a, it's a, they're spores. It's like a some sort of Again, is it fungal? It's something that's like a, some sort of spore that comes through the air and it can infect people and manipulate them. Uh, and this is something that uh, that they unearth because they're drilling, obviously, you know, deep into the earth, and it makes people want to, you know, fight back against the drilling. Oh. It's almost like an, it's almost like Greta Thunberg, <laughs> like you know, some sort of Greta Thunberg itis. <laughs> <laughs> Greta Thunbergitis. <laughs> it's Thunbergitis, you know. So they they they, they, sort of, <laughs> they start to yeah. It's like they they really some of the like you know people that are on an oil rig, they turn mad and you know, people are dying and it's really it's really like eerie mm. at, in in parts and it's quite uh, mysterious as, as to you know what is this thing? How is it affecting them? What does it want? And it gives people visions of like millions of years ago of this oh. thing, where it came from. So I'm not totally sure where it came from yet. I've watched three episodes, Maybe. but it's just it's a bit, yeah. I think it might be. It could be. It could be something something that came from a meteorite. Mm. Who knows? You know how you know things were back in the day. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. But it's all in the oil rig, so they're isolated. Yeah. They can't just you know get up and yeah. leave. So it gives it's like that kind of claustrophobic kind of sense a little bit. Not as good, but it gives a little bit of uh, the thing right, vibes. Right, you know, right, when right, someone's right. infected, yeah. who is it? You know, and stuff like that. So, so it kind like, of this is a, it's good. This it's is a, a British production, then. Yes, British production. It's got uh, Ian Glenn, so uh, Sergio oh, Mormont, Game of Thrones. Wow. It's also got uh, Alistair Thorne. Alistair Thorne was uh, one of the leaders of the Night's Watch, the bastard oh, one. Oh, he was a right one that, Yeah, that one. 
Yeah, he, when I hated yeah, John yeah, Snow yeah. all the time, he was always like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." John Snow, you bastard. bastard. <laughs> yeah, he, he, in this, he's the same character. He's the same. He's the <laughs> same. Shit. He's a dickhead yeah. in this. He, he plays the role yeah. really well. So you got them two, and you got another guy who used to be in the uh, Line of Duty. Right. So lots of lots of British actors. But yeah, really good show. I mean, sorry. Yeah, it's a really good show. I wouldn't say it's great, mm, but it's, it's decent, decent, right? You know, so I'm, I'm I'm working my way through it. But yeah, that's one to watch yeah. on. on we don't we don't have time to speak about it, but um. Over the kind of the Christmas and news period, I watched Kaleidoscope. I'm not sure if you had a chance to watch that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. At some okay. point, we'll try, maybe we can speak about it. But uh, that was an, one mm. of the other things that we spoke about. And that was, that's another kind of not, I wouldn't say it's fantastic, but it was decent. And it was kind of like an interesting thing mm. to watch over the, the kind of the holiday period. So, okay, folks, go out and watch those. That's The Last of Us and The Rig. Go check them out and um, let us know what you think. Let's do new trailers. And yeah, I watched these. And listen, I mm. saw the Renfield one. Yeah, man, it was, it was funny, crazy, mad. That looks mad. I can't, I can't mad, wait to watch this. Mad. I want to see this. Nicholas Cage, he's a yeah. madman. He's, he does shit films and good films and everything yep. in between. But my man's getting paid. <laughs> so this is uh, Renfield is directed by, guess who? Chris Mackay. And who was Chris Mackay? We've heard his name before many times. He directed uh, the, the, the Tomorrow War. Oh. Uh, he directed... The Lego movie, he's directed yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite... a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, he's done he's done some some good stuff, uh some Star Wars stuff and all that animation. Mm. Uh so yeah, he's directed this one. And this is a comedy, comedy what to call it, horror? comedy horror. Yeah, Nicholas Cage is Dracula and <laughs> he just looks mad, mad in it. He just I don't know how to describe it, he looks mad in it. Basically, uh he Dracula's henchman and in Hold on. Dracula's henchman and inmate at a lunatic assignment. <laughs> a, 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 a lunatic asylum. asylum? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, they go to a, a, like an asylum. He's got a henchman or something like that. Do you know what? Do you know who else is in it? Nicholas yeah, Holt. That's it. Yeah, it. Nicholas Holt. He's the, he, he plays yeah. Renfield. He's his kind of side... Uh, no, what? Renfield, what does he do? Renfield, Dracula's given him powers... But in exchange for yeah. those powers, Renfield is his, basically his butler. <laughs> yeah, he's got to do stuff for him. Ben Schwartz is in it. Aquafina yes. is in it. You've got a few people in it. But this 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 looks like mm. fun. That's all I can say. This looks like fun. So worth a watch. Go check out the trailer uh, now, actually. Yeah. Don't waste go, any time. Go, go check it out. And this next one. <laughs> uh, this was really interesting what they did, what uh, Amazon have done over here. So um, if you go back and listen to... Uh, you know, mm. some of our past episodes, you'll you'll hear us speaking about Invincible, which is this animation, adult animation about superheroes. And uh, it's honestly, it's on par with like, obviously the boys and things like that. It's, it's really, really great show. And some people might think, oh, animation, I really haven't really got time for it. No, seriously, it's that good. The voice acting is brilliant. Stephen Yun from The Walking Dead, we've already mentioned. Um, he plays Invincible, the superhero. The first season was great, though, Deval, wasn't it? Wicked, 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 wicked. And it's going to be back for a second season. And it's just literally how they... But I still don't know. It's just as late 2023, so it's not even any time soon. Yeah, they teased it, and they kind of even broke the fourth wall, and they showed Stephen Yeun voice recording yeah. for the show. Mad trailer. The trailer is really simple, but we don't know when it's going to come out. It could be September. It could be November. That's a long time, man. What have they been doing? I know. So go check it out. If you're a fan of Invincible, uh, then yeah, you you know you, you're probably already on it. So um, you know that's something that you can watch. Check this one out. Bo is afraid and devout. I watched the trailer, and oh my god, it's another madness from A24. I don't know what to make of it, but it's A24. <laughs> say no more. This has got Joaquin Phoenix, directed and written by Ari Aster, who brought us Hereditary, yeah. Midsummer, yeah. And what was the other one? Was there another I think one? It, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think, the, I think it's just those, those two. Were the other ones yeah. I remember, yeah. Midsummer, Hereditary, big films, horror films. This one, I don't know what to call it. Is it horror? Is it, action? is it action? Is it comedy? Is it drama? It's everything in between. But Joaquin Phoenix is a man who has some sort of great fear, whether it's a fear of leaving his house or fear of all kinds mm. of stuff and he has to navigate those fears and somehow it turns into some sort of big adventure from what I see in the trailer but the trailer looks like it could be it's got hints of everything all, everything, at, once, all at once mate. I see I see parts of it that looks like animation I don't know what's mate, going that's on exactly I, cannot, what I, I cannot describe what this film is that's yeah. it 
go go watch yeah, the trailer. Just watch the trailer. Simple go just that. make make up your own mind, and then let us know. Yeah. Uh, you know when you watch this video or something. Um, so go check out those trailers: Renfield, Invincible, and Bo is Afraid. Uh, let us know what you think. Now let's do anniversary corner. Now, this is a great one to pull out because it fits in nicely with one of the movies that we're going to be speaking about. So this is 2013. Now, Deval, you might have to kind of like catch me up on this. So I know obviously Chucky is... Good luck. <laughs> like, obviously the, the first two uh, or the first three, uh, you know, I, I remember watching those. First one was great. Second one was, in my opinion, I think it was great, decent as well. Third one maybe started losing it. But was there like a fourth and a fifth one? And like, you know... There's been I can't keep up, man. One came out like like three years ago. There's a TV show that comes on yes. Sci-Fi. Chucky lives. <laughs> Chucky lives on. So yeah? this one, the Curse of Chucky, came out ten years ago, 2013, and um, mm. yeah. So fill in the gaps for me, man. So this is like a rehash, a reboot of Chucky, basically. Back then, Chucky keeps on this doll, this spirit, <laughs> this evil spirit keeps going through dolls and dolls and dolls. You had Bride of yes. Chucky, so he had a, he had a wife yeah, one time. That. This one is basically another iteration of the red-headed, you know, evil, crazy doll that wants to go around killing people. Uh, so it's literally the same thing. I can't. It's it's copy and paste. Yeah. It's just slightly different. Uh, so you're going to get all the same things out of this 2013. Uh, version he goes around killing people with that big knife he enjoys it probably gets killed gets melted mm. and then his spirit goes on to the next yeah. so yeah man chucky but lives chucky. on so ch go check out this one this one does fit in with the films we're going to talk about especially one of them uh and uh yeah that's what we yeah, mentioned yeah it. exactly um now talking about that let's get into the film reviews devour so this one is is it is it pronounced margot marg what yeah. Margot, yeah, Margot. Yes, Margot. So tell us about There's this because you saw French this. way of pronouncing it, I think. Yeah. So this is called Margot, and this is uh, this came out late 2022, I think, or I saw it in 2023 mm. anyway. But this is a uh, a film that we saw the trailer of uh, a little while ago, and this is about a group of college friends uh, that go into a Airbnb. So very very modern yeah. times here. This is what a lot of people do. You know, they go into Airbnbs. And they have fun, have a part of the weekend off. They're having a bit of a sort of weekend to chill out and party after a lot of work yeah. throughout the term. Uh, so there's six friends all together. I think a couple of them are going out. Yeah, a couple of them are dating. All different characters. You've got your jock. You've got your, you know, your sort of princessy kind yeah. of one that's always taking the selfies and, you Social know, all media. up in the mirror all yeah. the time. You've got the tech one. You've got the sort of weed head one. All different characters, you know, so they all go in there. They all want to, they all, all want a lot of fun. This house, the thing is about it, Margot is a house. Right. Margot is a fully, fully automated, like, series, like Siri on steroids. <laughs> Margot, as soon as you walk up to the door, it looks at your eyes, it, it, you know, it knows who you yeah. are, it lets you in. Uh, each of your, each different room is uh, modified and, and uh, is bespoke. It's like, you know, it's, it's, they've actually made it so that each room is reflects your personality. So it knows what yeah. you want. It addresses you when you walk in the wow. room. It's just so, it's on another level of yeah. tech. Forget just having these, you know, these uh, smart lights. This is a smart house like you've never seen before. Which is, which is going to happen at some point. Yes, I'm sure there's, there's a version of this house that is out mm. there. But this house is on another level. This house can even create, it can create, like meals, you say, you say you want a meal, you say what you want, somehow it makes wow. the meal, mate, I don't know, I don't know what's in it. It can also, it can also create doubles of you. It uses this kind of like plaster liquid, a bit like Terminator, Terminator uh, 2, and it, it makes these like, it, make, it can make it a double of you. It's oh, mad, shit. it's got too much power. It's great, yeah, I think it went over the top with that mm. sort of thing, it went way over the top. But long story short, they go into this house, and we all know what happens with AI. What did, what did uh, what's that, what's his name? SpaceX guy, Elon uh, Musk. Tesla. Elon Musk once said that AI could take over yeah. the world and it could be our great, our greatest flaw or our greatest mm -hmm. enemy, just like Skynet in Terminator. Margot starts to go mad. Oh. Margot starts to, I don't even know, I don't even know why Margot goes mad. Cause even from the start of the film, you see a clip of Margot killing other people. <laughs> Margot just wants to kill. 
But in this film, it starts to kill people one by one. It does it in a bit like, uh, it kind of gives you fi- vibes of uh, Final Destination. Right. So it uses the boom to kill them and it's just mad. And then bit by one, bit by bit by bit, they have to try and fight back against the house. They group up. They use they, they try to break into the house like uh, the hacker, yeah. not the hacker, sorry, the person that's good with IT to tries to hack the into the man. house. And yeah, so they do all that kind of thing, and they do fight back. But Margot is powerful, man. I mean, you're in the house; they can't get out. You can create body doubles, and it done that and trick them. Uh, it's just it's it's not a great film. I wouldn't even say we're going rush to yeah. watch it. Uh, it's okay if you like that kind right, of thing, right, you know. Right, 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 right. It's just okay. It's an okay film, probably five out of ten or something. Yeah. It's nothing major, but it's just I just had to see it and just to see what it yeah. was like. But uh, just goes to show technology. Just because you can with technology doesn't should. mean you should. Exactly. You know. So sometimes leave things for us to do. Mm. Don't leave it all in your hands because when it goes wrong, it can go terribly yeah. wrong. So, yeah, Margot is, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'd rather open my own doors and, and sometimes, you know, open my own fridge and all that kind of stuff. I don't mind the smart lights. I can yeah, deal with that. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but what about, like, what, yeah, I mean, I get it, though. I, I totally get why people want stuff automated. Like, you know, imagine if you've been outside yeah. and you think, uh, actually, you know what, I'll before I get home, I'll have the lights on, I'll have the heating on, and yeah. I'll have the boiler. That's fine, yeah. You know, put the That's on. fine. That's good. That, yeah. You know what? That's cool. That's fine. That, that's yeah. absolutely cool. It's as far as it should go. As far as yeah. it should go. And then on the other hand, Deval, you've got something like Megan, uh, which is the latest film from James Wan and Blumhouse, which um, we're going to speak about right now. And um, I kind of was like you where I heard like, you know, stuff about the film and I was like, okay, Sometimes when you hear too much about a movie, you're kind of like, oh, do I really want to go and watch it and everything? But found myself in the cinema watching Megan because I thought, okay, let's go out. And I kind of sourced a couple of clips and I was like, okay, this sounds interesting. So the premise is, um, uh, what was her name again? Uh, so yeah, so it's produced by Jason Bloom. Jason Bloom, Deval, yeah. you know, come on. Blumhouse. Blumhouse. Anytime you see that Blumhouse, you know it's horror exactly. time, yeah? <laughs> so Blumhouse, they've done obviously the Halloweens and things like that. And obviously James mm. Wan, he's behind Annabelle. He's behind Conjuring. He's behind Fast and Furious. Mm. Like massive, like, you know, billion dollar movies, basically. And um, so this was, it came out, when did it come out in the UK? Came out uh, 2023, yeah. January. So this yeah, is, this is like kind of like, mm. a, like a new movie. So, um, so the f- movie starts off with I'm just, just I'm not going to kind of spoil anything. The movie starts off with a tragedy, and that kind of gives you uh, like an idea of where we're going with this. So a young girl, she's been orphaned because her parents have been killed in a car accident, and then the young girl mm-hmm. called Katie, she then is shipped over to live with her auntie. Her auntie mm-hmm. gets sole custody of of Katie, signs the papers, and the here's the thing, the the aunt isn't equipped to deal with uh you know to be the you know the 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 guardian of a young child because she's a workaholic she is Mm. just engrossed in her work she just basically doesn't have time for kind of other people and other things all she's doing is just working and here's the thing she's working for a tech company that produces ai toys Mm. and on the side this aunt has been working on a beta project which Deval, when you see, um, you think, wow, this is absolutely amazing. So she's she's created a life-size doll, an android doll called Megan. And she wants, she, because she doesn't have the time to look after her niece, she's like, okay, I'm going to program Megan to kind of be that support for you. You can tell Megan like how you're feeling, you know, Megan's going to be your best friend and, you know, she's going to help you brush your teeth. She's going to help you to with your homework and everything. And then slowly, but surely Megan then becomes basically the primary carer for the, for the young kid. And Mm. Deval, you know what happens then. (laughs) When AI strikes back. (laughs) I don't even know what made uh, Megan like 
go mad or what? Maybe maybe Chucky's part of it. Maybe she's cut Chucky's exactly. Cousin. But uh, well, I mean, like, like, do you know mad. what I'm saying? So again, this is kind of like you know, it's satirical. It's it's. You know, I, I guess, you know, what the directors are basically trying to say is like, we don't have time for our kids and we kind of mm-hmm. allow technology to kind of play a big part in, in in the kids' lives. And listen, look, I'll be honest with you. I've seen that parents, like, you know, they give tablets, they give phones and, you know, they, they you mm-hmm. know, because it's just a quick fix, isn't it? But then this takes mm-hmm. it to a whole new level where it's like an AI doll, which is talks and mm-hmm. speaks and is able to learn and, and like kind of... Um, you know have thoughts and feelings but basically megan <laughs> hit things on end well right that that's where we're at i i found the movie interesting i thought deval coming from james one and coming from uh, J- uh blumhouse i thought it was going to be a i thought it was going to be scarier if i'm being honest yeah 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 i thought it was going to be a bit better overall. yeah it was, it was very average uh there was just a couple a few moments where it was you know kind of interesting mm. and stuff but it wasn't. It didn't really stand out for me that exactly. much. Exactly. Like my favorite part was this: <laughs> the dance. Oh my gosh, it was flipping creepy, that man. Was, like, seriously, okay. it's mad. That's the, that's the, that was the scariest part. If I saw a doll <laughs> doing that dance, yeah, or the running in the woods, like that's, imagine. If I saw, oh, why was she running in all fours? Isn't it easier just to run with your legs? Why was she doing that? It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> why was it running on all fours in the it's woods? The weirdest if I saw thing. that, you know how oh I'm gonna run. Gosh, you know how I would run. <laughs> oh my gosh! But you know what was good though? This is gonna sound mad, but. I did think it was good when uh, <laughs> in the woods, yeah, she chased that boy into the car. And up. I was like, shit, the, the, the little boy, he's like, oh, he's maybe a bully. 12 or something. They're killing kids. <laughs> I was like, wow. When, when, when films start killing kids, you, you know, know it's dark. Yeah, around. exactly. You know what's going on <laughs> when the 12 year old boy like, gets like wiped out. Yeah. And then, um, so she's got her, she, her kind of her protocol is that she has to save or she's got to look after Katie no matter what. But then obviously mm, she takes yeah. it on to like uh, Megan takes it to the next level. And, um, and then yeah. there's this kind of like, you know, battle in the end. So, it, they, you know, they, they had undertones of Terminator 2 in there. It had undertones of Annabelle. It had undertones of, mm. um, of the shining you know the bit where um in the corridor where he's running where megan's running after the boss david yeah, yeah i was like yeah, you know the colored yeah. pastels the red and everything i yeah. thought oh my god this is like creepy as hell in its in yeah. of its own if you saw megan deval if you turned around and looked behind you right now you saw a doll sitting behind you look like megan mate you'd be running you'd run a mile running <laughs> running 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 i'll be running man honestly <laughs> Oh, I'll jump out the nearest window. I don't care how I, I don't care I, I need to get how far advanced we get. <laughs> Deval, slap me, shoot me. If you ever see uh-uh. me, um, I say to you, I want to buy a Megan doll. No, no, no. It's, just, it's game over, man. Game over mm. if that happens. Mm-mm. Like, Mm-mm. no. Mm-mm. But then a lot of people are saying that this Look. is the future. Because, you know, with the chat. I think it is, yeah. You know, have, have you been yeah. hearing about this chat, Um, the chat AI chat? Have you have you have you heard about? I've heard about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I've heard about so it. So basically, yeah. the the chat, the, we've reached a new milestone in that you know you can start having conversations with this chat. Uh, you know, with these with with the ch- AI chat capture chat. That's or something it. They call it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah they, but that's not, that's what they use when you when you when you go to like support on a company's website and you want to get support and you chat to it. Is that the same it's technology? Broken through to? that. Yeah, it is. But it's broken through a oh, barrier. Okay where it's now able to kind of produce documents and write stuff for you and write is poems it? and is you do it? all this sort of stuff. What? Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. It's reached, the, it's reached the milestone, but to get to Megan level, I think we're way off. Like it's, it's not going to be that yet mm. where it starts thinking for itself. Mm, 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 mm. But if you said, Deval, right now, if you said, uh, write me an essay on I don't mm. know quantum physics, it will write an essay for you and it'll pass mm. tests. Yeah. Yes, that's it? how good it's become. That's quantum mania, isn't it? Flipping it. No man. So <laughs> if like you know, yeah. like seriously, there's uh, there was like a, a university professor who gave the 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 chat AI a university level question, a test question, and mm. it passed it. Mm-mm. 
and it was like uncanny how it was right. able to you know the the university professor added parameters to kind of maybe to you know put it off and you know to you know see if it fails That's mate and, it, and it's scary, scary. so um, but i think it's going to happen man the, these dolls it will happen at some point it's a matter of time. Yeah, but so yeah, I, I don't want any dolls in the house. That's it. <laughs> no, man. Mm-mm. Scary. Mm-mm. Scary as. Nope. Uh, seriously. But listen, what, what you make it out of the two movies, I mean, what mm. would you say would be the one that you would gravitate towards first? Like, would you recommend first? Probably still Megan. Probably just, just not by much, but I'll still go yeah. to Megan, to yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The other one was a bit. Mm, Nah. Right. Okay. Well, folks, there you have it. Those yeah. are our movies of the week. Go check them out. Uh, if you do see Megan, if you found it interesting, if you found it creepy, let us know on Instagram. Mm. Catch us out there. We're um, we're there on the socials, and and that's it for today. Yep. Next week we've got uh, a knock on oh, the cabin or knock at I the cabin. Watch this. That's going to be interesting. So we've got that next week and we'll definitely let you know all about yeah. that one. Can't wait and for that Deval, one. And then Deval, in about a couple yeah. of more weeks' time, is Quantumania. Yeah, Ant-Man 3. So that's going to be good as well. My tickets are yeah, booked, man. locked and loaded. Ready it's coming. It. It's coming. Quite, we, we're going Quantum Realm mm-hmm. on this one. So listen, keep it locked mm-hmm. with the Flicksters and we'll be there. Uh, see you on the next one. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. Just pop in the Flicksters podcast.